Hey everyone, this is uh, John Thomas. We're at the uh, Showcase Gallery at uh, 978 uh, Queen Street West. And it's just opposite uh, Cam H. Hey, Barry-El, do you mind being interviewed on a YouTube vlog to promote yourself for tomorrow? Or? It's okay, just give me a chance. No problem. So listen, I'll be here with a, some lovely artists at this gallery. So this is 978 uh, Queen Street West. And that's that's what the front looks like. I was over there where, where, where these ladies were, where that box is where, where my guitar stand was and my amplifier. And uh, if there's no rain tomorrow, be that. If it is raining tomorrow night, I will be here from about 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. with Barry L, who's a beautiful artist there. And her work is in there. That's Barry L over there in the green. And uh, and she'll be here tomorrow. And this is some of her lovely artwork. And we're going to come and talk to Lev uh, Levner, who's the curator. Lev, say, let's take a look at some of your artwork. And first, let's meet Lev Levner, who's, this is an amazing space. Lev, I've known you for six years. I've been the janitor at uh, 180 Sudbury, where we met. So tell me who you are, where were you born? I was born in Kano, Pennsylvania in 1962. Okay. And How old are you right now? I'm 58. So we're about the same age. I'm 54. And you're 58. Uh, 58. Yeah. And I started doing my art uh, over a year ago. I went to a community center and... Um, Which one? The Stock Community Center. Where is that? That's in and, Toronto. Uh, Dogberport and Simiton. So that's a really amazing place, isn't it? That's that organization, the Stop. Yeah, it's a really amazing organization. They have a food they bank. They have an arts and craft uh, yep. group that I started. Uh, I joined and started. And and so I'm looking at some of your artwork. This is beautiful. You've taken like a plastic container and look at the paint you've done. That's yeah. beautiful. How much do you sell this for? For twenty five. And look at this beautiful piece of art right now. And this is at the 978 uh, Showcase Gallery. How much do you sell this for? How, how long did it take you to make this? How many uh, hours? This it took me about four, four days. Amazing, four eh? Four and how, days. Before, four days of work. Uh, eh? And how much are you going to sell that for, love? 200. And that's worth them. That's probably like a steal. Like, you know, like some artists will sell these for thousands of dollars. Never mind 200. Because, you know, when I'm you start out, he's just starting artist. out. Uh, like, how long have you been selling your stuff down? In the, here, or in uh, general? I started a uh, show in uh, August uh, of last year. Okay. And it's a uh, August. And uh, afterwards, uh, I got fired in October uh, to do the um, assist, assistant curator and uh, gallery operations manager. So I'm here. Uh, Every day. Amazing, eh? So you're the curator, that's your title? Assistant, assistant, assistant curator. curator yeah. So I'm basically, what is a curator? That basically, describe your job. I know what it is, but describe to... Uh, okay, so basically, uh, on Mondays we're doing the installations. So I'm in charge of the installations process. I'm in charge of uh, contacting the artist. I'm in charge of uh, put, putting the, the art on the Instagram, on the YouTube uh, channel that we just started. Very cool. What's uh, Tell us, I'm going to link it in the description when I post this. Tell tell the link right now to the audience. Because uh, many people will watch the this. The so. YouTube channel is the Soul Gallery 978. Yep. On the Instagram is the same thing, the Show Gallery 978. So Show Gallery 978, both for YouTube and Instagram. Uh, yes. Show gallery. Is it all one word? Yes. The show gallery. Is it, is it lowercase like on Instagram? Like how do you type it in? All lowercase. So S H O W G. No. T H E. The. The show gallery. Oh, that's right. I follow it. So it's the show gallery. Nine seven eight. Nine seven eight, and that's the street address. So if you remember that, nine seventy eight, Queen Street West. Nine seventy eight, Queen Street West. The Show Gallery 978, that is the tag for Instagram, and that is the YouTube channel. Okay, The Show Gallery 978. And remember, my YouTube channel is, of course, 
John TV 366, man. Because <laughs> this is one of my vlogs. And I'm vlogging uh, Mr. Lovner, who I've known again for six years. How much do you sell this for? Well, this is beautiful. How long did this is so beautiful? Describe what this is and how many hours it took you to make. Describe it. Uh, this piece took me roughly two hours to make. Okay. And it took uh, maybe two days to dry up. Sure, okay. What's the. What kind of paint is it? It's a acrylic paint. Okay. With li liquid glass. Say it again. Liquid glass. I've never heard of that. It's a, a solution that you mix it with the acrylic paint that it will shine. Okay. And does that make the sheen or where's yeah. the sheen? Is that is that what's responsible for that sheen? It's beautiful, eh? Yeah. Look how beautiful that is, eh? It's so glossy. It's like uh, that's what the, so the liquid yeah. glass does. Yeah. And this one is liquid glass, acrylic plus a little bit of. I just want to touch a little bit because yeah. it's a little. You see the uh, ridges, eh? Because the on this one there is about four covers. Yeah. Until I got it right. Yeah, it's so cool. Like the whole the whole space is just amazing. Like uh, and this guy has been existing yeah. for twenty eight years. That's amazing too. And I just met John, and I'm John. Who he, has he owned it for twenty eight years, or what's the story with? Yes, he owns. Wow. The, and tell and us, who, who's a, John? He owns Public Butter, and he owns Black Market. Black Market, and another store that I don't know the name. Public owns Butter. Dundas. Another one. Another one on Dunder Street is not open right now. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and um, and it's funny. This we just discovered a leak. I was I was coming to lab. There's some uh, water leaking, and I remember I'm going to show you the facade. This is a very old part of uh, Toronto, by the way, in Parkdale. So this part of Toronto is this. These buildings are roughly the uh, the 1890s. Uh, there's some oncoming traffic. That's Shaw down there. Uh, at the light is Ossington, so that's where you are. 978 Queen Street West, Shaw there. Okay, uh, Ossington there. I'm here every Friday. There, where these boxes are, I'll be setting up uh, live musical equipment. And uh, hey to uh, some of my buddies who uh, were supposed to come last Friday, come this week, and I got a drum, you know, the bass, you know, remember the idea where the band, remember? <laughs> I know we're all stoned all the time, but you know, I'm actually serious. Remember? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to? Two people. You know who? <laughs> you know the two people who didn't come last week. <laughs> who I will be seeing later today. <laughs> I will be asking you again. And that's the new part of Cam H, right? Uh, that's the famous wall down there. Um, I don't know if you can see it through the fencing. Um, so on, there's a sign there with Cam H. Uh, you can't really see it, you know, zoom. it's behind the fencing, the, the lunatic's wall uh, that the patients uh, did. So it's a beautiful part of town. It's, uh, you know, some of the patients are uh, kind of interesting, I guess. <laughs> but, but then, you know, uh, you know, at one time I was a CAMH patient too, because uh, as a crack addict, uh, occasionally police uh, uh, said, uh, yeah, uh, Form 1, uh, <laughs> crackhead, uh, cracking out, uh, hospital. <laughs> And I've been to Camish with five times actually, sorry, and from patients. Because when you're high on crack, uh, it's either jail or the rubber room at Camish. As the cop said, uh, uh, yeah, I'm a hospital. <laughs> Look at me, trust me. Uh, and that was uh, the day. And um, yeah, so I do want to give a quick um, rant. Um, I was very sad the other day that someone insulted me and said, um, you know, I don't need to rant. I, I, I'm, I'm tired of people saying that I'm too happy or there's something wrong with me. Or someone even said I was hysterical, which is like, it's so sad, you know. And I know the person who said that is just so depressed in her life, you know, she's so stressed out that she's not had the nerve to call me hysterical, considering all the things that she does in her life. I actually do find hysterical that she uh, is in that position to be. But, uh, that's a long story, I was um, Yeah, so life is really beautiful. So we're just uh, doing lab. 